Alright guys, this is Spectre, and you can probably predict what this one is. I am so fucking hyped. I was watching the Game Awards, and when I saw this, I was astounded. So unfortunately, I was wrong about the map coming out today, and it'll be coming out in early 2021. But that is so soon at this point. It's already December, and if you think about it, 2021 is only like a month away. So we're thinking that this map will probably come out in about a month. So we're just going to watch through the trailer and do a bit of a reaction. That is fucking sick. So it's called the airship Welcome, journey. Recruit. Get yourself a crazy. I think the journey was scaled. Okay. Enough slacking. Go do your tasks. You may need to take a ladder to get to certain areas. Or maybe just take a nice so shortcut. Hang on, let's take a pause here. So that was two new tasks right there. So I know that's a new task. That's not something we've seen before. So this is security because the cameras are there. Yeah, this it's also labeled security. Let's ignore it. Let's ignore the fact that it's labeled security and uh, pretend that... Uh, I'm just a uh, big brain. Anyway, that security, there it looks like going through videotapes is going to be a potential task cuz there's a ton of VHS tapes sitting there and a computer. Something you might have to go through. Some of those. Let's just take a moment to appreciate some of the skins. They made a ton of top hats here it looks like that one's already in the game that one looks sort of country there's like hair under that one there's a pink top hat a cheese top hat top hat with a clock on it a tiny top hat blue top hat i don't think any of these were already in the game so that's pretty cool so this room is called cockpit this was already released in the trailer so i'm not going to spend too much time on this it looks like there's just some regular tasks and this is like the main room where you'd spawn after a meeting or at the start of the game Gun recruit Get yourself acquainted with the layout of the top at airship. Okay, so that goes into a hallway. Brig. So that's like a prison. And then it cuts to here when you're going into security. So it looks like that might be electrical to the right. That looks like to me it has like some machines that would look like electrically. Enough slacking. Go to your top. And this is trash. So I guess this is replacing um, trash chutes. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cute. Pulling the bag out. Because I know I worked a job in real life where we had to change garbage bags. And when they got too full, it was literally a pain in the ass getting them out of the can. Just just like that was. Or that would be. So that's, that's kind of cute. I like that. Okay, polishing a diamond. We've already seen something like that with sorting crystals and stuff like that. I'm not super impressed by that. This looks like a trophy room or something. So it's a vault, yeah. Where they keep all the valuable stuffs. I need to take a ladder to get to certain areas. Okay, this is sick. Because I don't know how this is going to work. Because if I'm, if I'm not imposter, this is definitely... Uh, I'm not sure they thought through... The whole ladder thing, because I feel like it's exploitable that you could go up and down the ladder like over and over and over again and maybe avoid getting killed. Or I don't know if you can sit on the ladder. Like, I don't know if they're holding S to go down or up the ladder or if it automatically pulls them all the way down. But if you can sit in the center of that ladder, you obviously can't get killed while you're sitting on it. So that'd be, uh, that'd be pretty cheesy. But let's just take a minute to appreciate this skin. This looks fucking sick. The fucking top hat has like a yellow thing on it. That looks pretty cool. Now, this platform is a pretty cool concept to me because it can go one way, and if it's not there, it looks like you can't use it to go a different way. So, it, here, the platform is on that side. But later in the video, as you guys will see, you can't actually take it back if it's on the wrong side. So you have to take a detour through the map, which will take you longer. So there's actually a little bit of threat to... Um, not being able to get to a certain place in time if the shortcuts aren't working out for you. This is 
a super cool feature in my opinion. You can literally get spawned in three different rooms and I'm not sure if these rooms cycle or if it will always be a choice of these three rooms but if you pick wrong and you accidentally spawn with the imposter there's no real way of seeing who chose to spawn where so it's kind of a cool concept that you could spawn in a room alone with an imposter and no one will be there so you need a it adds an extra aspect of strategy that you need to talk through what room you're going to spawn in in the meetings that's just so cool to me to start in after a meeting Someone keeps trying to sabotage us. Stop them. I don't know if that feature is going to come to other maps too as well, and I'm not sure that the other maps are as built for it, or this is going to be a special feature of this map. I'm kind of hoping that this is like exclusive to this map, or it's an option you can turn on and off, because I... I kind of like the idea, but I kind of like how the other maps put already that you spawn together, but I think that like it would make this map all the more special if it had like this special aspect about it, that you can spawn in different rooms, and they, they continue to create maps with special aspects, so that way it changes the game up a little bit, because the reason that I've done modding in the past is to change the game up because it gets so vanilla, and I feel like... If they keep adding aspects to the game like this, Among Us will continue to be uh, interesting to people. Like, it'll continue to, like, challenge you. A plan. Keep your eyes peeled. We definitely have an imposter. Okay. So this looks like a kitchen. Um, I'm not sure how this is connected, and I cannot see any tasks in here. Like, nothing is highlighted, so there. I don't think there's a task on these tables here. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the task would be in this room. Maybe, like, chopping up vegetables or something, because it looks like there's a lot of vegetables at the top and, like, hamburgers. So, we'll see about that. Yeah. Let me just say, I fucking love this cyborg skin. It's fucking dope as fuck. And it looks like they're going to be adding new kill animations, which you'll be seeing in a second. That, that is so cool. So I wonder, I wonder if the body, yeah, the body is still a bone, but I guess in the kill animation, he melts him, just absolutely destroys him. Uh, sorry. Yes, he absolutely fucking just melted his face off let's watch that again so i guess that's dependent on what skin you wear so that'll be really cool that you can wear a certain skill and unlock a uh, wear a certain skin and unlock a certain kill animation let's watch that one more time so he just walks up to him and melts his face off he's And there's, again, some of the new... Uh, no, this is the winter collection. The jacket was already there, but that pink top hat is new. Alright, this is Spectre from the future. Um, so I noticed something kind of important about the ladders. That this ladder right here is actually a different ladder than the one that is shown earlier in the trailer. Um, so... There are at least two ladders on this map, so they've used this concept multiple times, and ladders will be required for travel around the map. So, I kind of like the concept. I don't know if they'll be sabotageable or not, like you can't go up or down ladders, but I, I feel like ladders are going to be a large part of this map, and there's going to be a lot of verticality, which we haven't seen before, because obviously Among Us is a 2D game. So, we'll... uh. We'll see how that how that works out. There's there's gonna be lots of ladders though because there's at least one here. There's at least another one in the trailer, and there's probably some more in other rooms that we haven't seen uh, as of yet. Yeah. So I was right about the whole lots of ladders thing. This is actually a third ladder here. So there's one here. There was one at the beginning, and there's one on the other side of this platform that goes up. So there's a huge amount of verticality that's going to be associated with this map, which is kind of cool. And I'm not sure how that's going to turn out yet, to be honest. So again, early 2021 could be January or February, but it will be within the next couple of months that this is coming out. Personally, I think that it will be out in early January because they put out a tweet about this map in November, so they have been working on it for a long while, and I am so happy with the progress and the 
uh, effort that has gone into it. It actually looks super dope, and I cannot wait to be playing this. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. That was my opinion on the Game Awards, the Airship Among Us map trailer. Uh, make sure to hit like and subscribe for more Among Us news and content and more mods. Uh, I try my best to upload daily. And I will see you guys in the next one.